The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. This happened years ago in another parish, uh, just before Christmas. The people that decorated the church wanted to make a star to go as part of the decorations. Now this was going to be a large three-dimensional star that they would hang from the ceiling. They needed a place to work on it, so I said they could use the rectory basement. Well, this was quite a project, and a lot of time and engineering went into this, and they cut these pieces out of thick styrofoam, and they pieced them together like a, a three-dimensional puzzle, you know, made sure everything fit. And they took it apart, and they spray-painted each piece gold, and then they put it back together, this time using dull rods to connect the pieces and glued them together, and... It was, it was beautiful and it was really sturdy and it wasn't going to come apart. They only overlooked one small but important detail. The size of the star and the size of the door. The only way to get that star through the door was to break it. It wasn't coming apart. So this well-designed, solidly built, beautiful, large, three-dimensional gold star went from the rectory basement to the dumpster because <laughs> that's the only way they could get it. Jesus breathed the Holy Spirit upon his disciples and sent them as the Father had sent him. And he said there's, basically, there's one thing they couldn't overlook. Forgiveness. If they were going to move on, they had to be willing to forgive. That's the only way they could move forward. First, they had to forgive themselves. They had talked big about how they were going to stand up for Jesus, and they all failed him. They all came up short of what they said they would do, and so they needed to let go of their guilt. Then they had to forgive everyone they encountered. Many people had been critical of Jesus, and some had flat out opposed him. Some even participated in his crucifixion. Jesus forgave them, and disciples would have to forgive them too. If they held on to their guilt and their grudges, they wouldn't get through the door. They wouldn't be able to continue to proclaim the good news of Jesus. They wouldn't be able to move forward and continue his mission unless they forgave. For the, the Jewish people, the Sabbath was the last day of the week. It concluded the week. It ended something. Jesus rose from the dead on the first day of the week. 
He breathed the Holy Spirit on his disciples on that same first day of the week. He was beginning something new. The only way to embrace something new is to let go of the old. It's to forgive. Every time rivalries are resolved, peace is restored, forgiveness is granted, even in small ways, that is the Holy Spirit working through us to continue that new creation of Jesus in our world today.